Justice Sotomayor? I have a problem with um, laws like this that are so broad that um, they stifle speech just on their face, meaning um, I think that's what the government's been trying to say. If you have a particular um, type of speech that you want to protect against or, or promote, it would be one thing to have that kind of law. But we have a company here, Discourse, who's also a direct messaging app. And there's no question that your law covers them. But they tell us that their per whole business model is to promote themselves to a particular message and groups of messages. So they're not doing it indiscriminately. You're basically saying to them, if they're out there and they're a common carrier, they can't have this, mis this kind of business model. Well, I mean, two responses, if I may, Your Honor. The first is, as to the particular company, we're only talking about the three largest, maybe more, depending on who falls within the 50 million, the largest telecommunications companies on earth. We're not talking about Oh, so they, else. so you, they okay. So, but as to the second point. You're agreeing with them that the, basically yeah. this law is aimed towards them. To, to, yes, to the largest. We've never disputed that. But even if you agree with all of that, I, 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 I disagree with you, but I understand that there's still applications of this law that should be allowed to go into effect. I don't see how they can say that they can kick somebody off for off-platform speech of their grandmother. That can't be. Or because they don't like it where you live in Texas. You know, they, you live in El Paso and not Dallas, so you're not as valuable to the advertisers, so we're going to kick you off. Surely that can't be okay. 